Hello everyone. Welcome to Java Code Threads. Today we are going to discuss how we can create our own uh, custom array list uh, in the Java. So before we are directly going to the implementation part, we just understand how array list works internally. So when we are creating an array list object, uh, then by default size of that array list is 10. You can see the you can say like capacity of uh, the uh, array list is 10. So up to 10 index, we can able to insert the element. So, but what will happen if we are trying to insert 11th element? So we can say like, uh, if my array list reaches to the max capacity and I'm trying to uh, add or insert the 11th element into the array list. So what will be happen internally? Array list will do a uh, create uh, internally array list create a new um, uh, create a new array list based on one formula that is current capacity into three by two. So current capacity is our array list is 10. 10 into 3 is 30 and divided by 2 is nothing but 15. So new array list contains a 15 index. So up to 15, we can insert. But whenever again, if my, um, again, this array list uh, reaches to the max capacity, and the, then the same formula will be calculated and uh, uh, and a new array list will be um, created. And um, this reference uh, will be removed and assigned to the new array list. So let's get started with the implementation part. As you can see, like I have created one, uh, class called my array list and uh, uh, and the collection framework uh, supports the heterogeneous data types so for that purpose i'm going to create object array so i name it as obj array so initially what i'm going to do uh, i'm creating a empty array uh, empty array here and uh, after that i'm going to create a constructor so whenever uh, so whenever any class want to create array list so by default, that size will be 10. So we will initialize our si uh, size inside this uh, constructor, default constructor. So obj, obj array is equal to new object of 10. We can define it as a 10. So 10 is the, our default size. So now what we are going to do, we are try to implement our add method. Okay, so public void add so when we are doing array list dot add method we are passing actually our object correct so i am taking the parameter as an object so name it as a obj and simply i will insert that element uh, into our object array correct so but to what position i have to insert that element correct for that purpose i'm going to use uh, create one variable called size uh, a size is initially zero. So, uh, so what I'm going to do? Object, uh, object array, object array of size plus plus is equal to we are assigning our object. Okay, as simple as that. So this is we are ready with our uh, add method. But, um, but what will happen if my array list is reaches to their max capacity? Uh, so means like if someone uh, adding trying to adding the 11th element for that purpose we have to create a new array list as per the formula correct uh, so we will write one condition over here if uh, my size is reaches to the max capacity means like obj array dot length then what we gonna do we we are going to increase our uh, uh, array size correct uh, so in that, for that purpose i'm going to you create a new function increase a uh, capacity uh, so so here you can see a uh, new capacity function is there uh, now what we going to do we are going to calculate first the size so uh, the formula for our to calculate uh, uh, to create array list is uh, current capacity into 3 by 2 3 by 2 so what is our current capacity obj array dot length correct into 3 by 2 okay and which is returning uh, me a uh, integer so we called it as a new capacity okay so once we create a new capacity we need to create a new array correct for that purpose i'm going to use a uh, arrays as a utility class which provide me a copy of method so in that we are going to pass our old array old array is nothing but obj array and our new capacity we are passing size of new array and which is returning me a array so i'm using the same uh, name of array okay 
uh, instead of you you can use a for loop uh, to iterate or assign that each and every element to the new array but i'm using a copy of method so so we have done with our add method so uh, and uh, next uh, second method we are trying to develop is very simple method uh, size method so so size is returning something length so length means like we are um, creating uh, our function should return an integer value so integer size uh, so what we going to do uh, so return obj array dot length you can see here we have to not return the object array length we have to return always the size when we are returning object array dot length so as we know like uh, arrays are fixed in size so if we uh, we have a, like size of 10 but we are filled only two elements still it will return us like 10th size so we have to not return here uh, the length instead of that we have to return the size correct so here uh, we have ready with our second function and let's go let's do it for like third function again third function is we are using for like display purpose so we are going to use like public void display method we say in the display method what we are going to do uh, we are uh, printing our actual values correct so integer is starting with our uh, array index will be starting from zero and we have to iterate till our size not the length correct and here after that, I'm going to print this out statement and obj array of i. I have to print. Correct. Uh, we have done with our three functions. And the fourth function is very important function, get. So whenever arrayList.get uh, function we are calling, so actually we are passing the index, correct, in the get method. So based on index, we are trying to get the value. So let's implement that method public. Uh, so it is returning as an object, correct? Based on the index. So object gate is our method name. And uh, in that, uh, you can see like um, we are taking the parameter as an index, uh, integer index. So, uh, so it's a very simple method. So what we have to do here, we have to just uh, um, obj, oh, oh sorry, obj array of index we have to return correct but here what will be happen what will happen if someone pass like minus one or my someone pass like my array size is 10 but someone pass like 12 so in this case we need to throw exception correct for this invalid index so what we going to do we will made one more uh, security check over here if my um, index is uh, less than zero or my or my index uh, is uh, greater than size uh, greater than size greater than or equal to size then what we are going to throw we are throwing array index out of bone so here we will print a message as invalid index and we will print that index over here okay so we have done with our implementation part as of now we have developed four methods first one is the add so as you can see like uh, as per the internal working we are using uh, created one our add methods and second one is our size third one is our display method and fourth one is our get method let's uh, test our custom array list so for that purpose i'm creating a main class over here so i have to create uh, my array list object so i have create by default array list so default size will be our object array is 10 correct so now let's add uh, the element into the array. Let's add like um, uh, India. And uh, and let's call like a display method. Okay. Uh, so as of now, we are calling two methods, add method and display method. Let's uh, check what will happen. So India will be printed by default. And before that, what we are going to check, uh, we will check the size of our list. List uh, ls dot size is our method. Although, so size should be one, it should correct. Uh, and suppose I want like, I want to add some more element, India, India, India one, let's say India one and India 
two. Okay, let's run it again. So as you can see, like my size will be printed over here three, and uh, display meter is printing actual values India, India one, and India two. Uh, suppose I want that uh, particular index. Uh, uh, I want to. Uh, I want that element which on uh, which is on index one. So list dot gate is the method we are going to call, and one we are passing over here. We are getting India one. So that's it from my end. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.